Ladies and gentlemen, tactical advance there, and welcome to a ship review. Now today, we're going to be taking a look around the Anvil Terrapin. It's a U4A-3 class as a scanning and exploration ship. There's clearly going to be variants further on down the line, undoubtedly. The purpose of this ship is to get into a location, possibly under heavy fire, and do the scanning you need to do and get away, basically. Pretty cool ship. I really like this one. I actually own this one as well. There's not many ships that I've seen in the past probably year that I actually even own. So this one, ah, oh, I was totally looking forward to doing this. Had a quick look around. Some really cool stuff here to go through as well, not just on this ship, but some features that are going to be coming up and you can really get to see how these other ships are going to work when we've got all the modules that are actually implemented properly. And I'll show you when we go inside. Now, it is a odd shape. It is basically like a terrapin. <laughs> That's the best way to explain it. <laughs> it is that shape. It's not normally, it's not sort of ship shape, if that makes any sense. Nor plane shaped. It is a sort of terrapin. It's a flying terrapin. Small loadout on the weapon side. It's not going to be doing loads of damage. The idea is, is uh, fly in, scan, get the information and get out of there. Going to be a real tough ship. And they actually say on the site as well, it's going to be very, very good coming into atmosphere and taking heavy fire from the ground as well. Let's have a look around, see what we got. Let's have a look at the front first, see if we can see the front screen. Now the screen's quite high up. There are, here's a little bit of challenge with that screen up the top there, but we'll have a look inside and keep in mind, a lot of this stuff could be updated. I'm hoping that they fix the seat, but we'll look at that in a minute. Weapons there, looks pretty cool. It is running for a damaged state, but that's pretty normal when he's going to hang up for the first time. And it is uh, sitting a bit wonky on the floor there. Clearly we can see these huge legs fold up in here. It'd be interesting to see how this fares out, maybe by shooting it. See how effective the armour is. We don't really seem to have effective armour yet. Engines on the side. Obviously they move as well. Looks like a protective plate on the bottom there. Protect his little belly. That's clearly got to be from ground fire as well. The engines do look pretty cool, don't they? A lot of detail's gone in there. Let's kind of look on the rear. Don't want to say it looks like a bit of a mess, but it does look all over the place, doesn't it? Obviously in flight it probably looks slightly different. I don't think you can interact with any stuff here. So that plate thing runs the whole bottom of the ship there, that you can see, look. All the way around there. There is a hunker down mode on this as well, where it all folds up and goes into a defensive mode as well. Idea being, if you come under heavy fire, you go into that mode. These arms on the side here, the little lights on. Now the door, it actually took me a couple of, I saw some, the pictures originally with the door and it just wasn't quite clear. Because if you look at these sort of ribs here, you go around this side, Exactly the same. Obviously there's no door here. It's not obvious the way to get in. And there's no little button on this one. It's just a case of holding down air. There we go. You can see there. Take a look inside in a second. What does it say there? Yeah, I like the idea of this little plate on the bottom. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Because there's one thing having the armour from the top. But if you don't have the ar armour underneath pretty much where most of your components are. Let's open the door. And the ramps. Uh, we might be all right with that. Here we go. Whoop. There we go. Like I said, it's running through a damaged state, but let's just ignore that. The damaged state that it's running through is pretty cool. Look at this. Look. Watch this one. Look. Really cool, isn't it? Right, so let's start in the back here. Now this is your 
scanning station. You can sit in the seat. We'll do that in a second. But what's really interesting is if any of you guys have played Hellion, you know what I mean? This is the first time that I've seen these uh, little doors. That one's locked. Why that's cool is because we can actually see now, and this is one of them, but you can see these modules. And if I point on this one, see this here, this here, this here. If you've played Hellion, you know exactly what I mean. You can hover on these and it'll tell you if it's green or if it needs replacing or it's damaged. And then you can replace these components. And these, and that's the toilet. There's a few of these around the place. Some of the doors are locked. I did try and open the doors as well earlier with no luck. I tried getting in the seat and unlocking it and it weren't either. There's one, two, three there. We've got more over here, I think. Around here, are they? Yeah, there we are. So once again, I'm assuming we're bad in track with this little thing. I'm hoping it's not a... I know that is a module that you can buy in the store. I'm hoping that there's individual items on the module that we can interact with. Or is it going to be a case of replacing the, the whole entire component? What else have we got? We've got another one here. Bit of a weird one, that one, isn't it? Not there at the moment, is it? It's missing. We've got one on this side. Oh, that's actually there. Look, that's pretty cool, isn't it? And we've got another one here. Nothing there. There's no more up here. I did a quick look around here. Go back down here. You do a toilet as well. It's actually huge, actually. Massive, isn't it? First aid. Someone's left the shower on. And she's sitting on the loo. Cool. You can actually store boxes in there. You can put stuff in there, can you? Easy. That's two crew. We've got a bed here as well. We can jump into. Can't see anything else you can interact with. Oh, this is pretty. I didn't notice that before. Now, this rotates as you're moving and looking around as well. Fortunately, the uh, displays don't work on this, so you can't actually see it at the moment. Would have been uh, nice. You can even see look, the little logo on the glass there. There we go. Pretty clear what that is, isn't it? Oh, there's an access panel there, look. Can't interact with it, though. I missed anything, so we'll look. It's a little bit darker as well, doesn't it? Right, let's jump in this seat first of all. See what we got. Now the bars come down from the top like a roller coaster ride. There we go. And then uh, away you go. Displays there. No idea what they're what we were actually going to see here yet. Switch them, switch them on. You can't actually do anything here. Shame. Even if you turn the you know, the engines on, it makes no difference. You do get this this reticle here, look. It's a bit odd. Could be a bug. Jump out of the seat. Goes back up. Hopefully when it run this runs through the damaged states like now. If I've got a hand repair tool, I'm hoping I can repair that. Because that is actually, that says fuel. That's not good, is it? Sure, that can't be good without leaking in here, can it? It's like death in a couple of minutes. Quite a bit of room here. You could bundle a couple of people in here. I know once oxygen comes in, that's going to be a little bit more difficult to do. But at the moment in 3.1, if you're playing with your friends, this could be a good little ship just for bopping around in, couldn't it? Once again, we'll have to see how the armour value actually works. The whole point of this ship is extreme armour. Um, so far in Star Citizen, I'm not really feeling the armour. What I mean is, is I'm not feeling that it, it's really there. Seats, super detailed here, look. 
got maximum weight on it as well. Before we get in, let's have a see if we're going to look around. You're a bit limited when you're in the seat. Another maintenance access there. Let's jump in the seat. Now, I'm sure they're going to adjust this. I'm certain. I can't believe that this is the... As soon as it went around like that, I thought... I was waiting for the seat to go up in the air. So, if you look, if I put it in... Turn the power on. Must admit... All the screens do look really good. And the best way I could explain it... Don't you think the text looks really sharp? Like, really... It's very impressive, isn't it? Well, I've unlocked that in a minute. We're going to check them other doors as well. Landing. You see what I mean? The, the text on this ship looks really, really sharp and clear to see. Landing complete. Take off complete. Can't see landing and taking off here. Landing complete. Just ignore that for a second. Like I said, okay, so look, I've let go of the controls now. Take off complete. I should be higher. Complete. I think if I went higher, i will be happy with just seeing that and just looking down a little bit or something. It just seems I'm just really low down. Landing. I almost want to peer over the front of the ship. Landing complete. But I suppose you can't have the best of both worlds. There's hey, loads of armor and great visibility. I suppose you could. It's not exactly OP if they put the seat a bit higher. Only needs to go up another foot and a bit. And the weird thing about it is it's got this huge canopy. Look. Let's create a really big canopy. Oh, let's get out of the seat because she's winding me up. <laughs> See, I'm just seeing we've got any other controls around here before we get out. Oh, yeah, there's one way of doing it. Yeah, right, if, if you look at the canopy and you look at my head, my head's in line with here. Look. What's the point of this? Why not just raise me up another foot and a foot and a half so I can maybe see at this point? I mean, at least it give me more visibility. Particularly if it's an exploration ship. The whole point of an exploration ship is to be able to see. Once again, I mean, they may update it once they get the feedback from everyone. So, let's jump out of the seat. And, um, see them. Oh, no, do you reckon I have to leave the power on to leave unlock them doors? I better let me do, didn't I? Let's go with that. Oh, it's going a bit crazy in here now. Move over it. No, I can't unlock them still. Plus the fact it's going a bit crazy. No, this has only been in a short period of time. When 3.1 went live, they actually uh, excluded some of the ships as well. So This is uh, late coming in. Can we actually see an armored shield on the top there as well? Oh, I know what we could do. Should we go up the lift and have a look down from the top? Better idea, isn't it? I haven't been up this lift in probably years. And we can have a look to see what, what sort of armor plating we've got on top as well. No, oh, there is some there. Look, you can see there. See the them little flaps left and right at the centerpiece. You can see that they fold down and close up. And also, there's a piece on the rear there as well. Look, on the back there. Quite an animated ship, actually. Quite looking forward to seeing seeing it cycle through the modes. Right, when it goes down hunker down mode, to see the whole animation set. We saw it a long time ago. Interesting to see it. I always said with the Terrapin, wouldn't it be really cool if you could fly down to a planet and then when it's on the floor, go on down to Hunger Down Mode? Because a big challenge here, isn't it? Are we coming? Um, big challenge here is when you land on a planet, what's defending your ship? And if it had the capability of hunkering down on the floor or something and using land anchors or something, I thought that'd be pretty cool. 
I'm sure it wouldn't be hard for them to add something like that. At least that way, then, when you're going down the planet and if you want to grab something and get away quickly, and you don't necessarily want to go down there with loads of firepower, you know you're going to come back and your ship hopefully is still going to be there. In one piece. <laughs> I'm really pleased with it. I'm saying that because I've got one. I've been looking forward to seeing this ship for a long time. I'm definitely looking forward to flying it as well because this is probably going to be my little go-to ship. In the coming patches, really. There's a few bits to iron out on it, but first draft thrown in. They get a lot of feedback from the rest of the backers as well. I do hope, please, please, if anyone from Star Citizen is list, uh, listening, can we raise the seat? That would make such a big difference. I think all exploration ships should have good visibility. Otherwise, it just sort of partially defeats the object. At the moment, this has got great armour. It's fair to say pretty poor visibility and quite low guns. And I don't think it'd be overpowered for it to have better visibility. I think it would it'd be more in keeping with the, the concept of the ship and also it'd just make it much more enjoyable as well. Has anyone else out there got the Terrapin? What do you think of the Terrapin? I'm really pleased with it. I'm really looking forward to jumping in 3.1 now and flying around and seeing how I get on. And also, I'm quite looking forward to getting shot <laughs> to see how it fares out. Hopefully I won't be disappointed, but we'll see how we get on. So that's everything from me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.